Hey guys, Cal here. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to build a custom list view in Android Studio. Uh, we're going to build our own custom class and we're going to make that all work so that we've got a nice list view of our, well, we're going to use shapes in this example. And you're going to be able to click on each one of those shapes and it's going to take you to a new view. And in that view, you can show more detail on, on whichever shape it is. So I'm just going to hit uh, new Android project. I'm going to say empty activity. That's fine. I'm going to call this shape list and uh, That's all fine. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is get my images all set up So I'm just going to go into res Drawable and I'm going to right click here and I'm going to say show in Explorer and then I want my desktop and I've got this shapes folder here. I'll make sure this is available. So if you want to copy exactly what I do here, um, yeah, there'll be a link to download these below. Um, so yeah, just open this drawable here and then I'm just going to copy and paste my shape images in here and you'll be able to see they've come through. So that's all good there. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to build my simple shape class. So I'm just going to get a new Java class and then call this shape. And my shape is going to have uh, an ID. It's going ID. It's going to have a name. So string, string, you could make the ID an int, but for this example, I'm just going to make it a string. And for the last thing it's going to need is an image. And that is actually going to be an int. And then I'm just going to right click and I'm going to say generate. I'm going to con say constructor. I'm going to get all of those in there. And then I'm just going to make some getters and setters. So again, generate, getter and setter. Cool. So next, I want to get um, all, of, all of our layouts sorted. Um, so the only really interesting thing we're going to do here is we're actually going to have, so we're going to have three things. We're going to have um, our list view, we're going to have like a detail view, and we're going to have a cell. So the only really interesting one out of the three is the cell. So I'm going to make that first. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say file new. So I've got this layout here selected. File new layout resource file and I'm just going to call this shape cell and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to say file new java class and I'm going to call this my shape adapter so the shape adapter and the shape cell are going to link file new activity and empty activity and so this is going to be our detail So in the interest of keeping this video short, I've actually just done all of my layout stuff um, off camera. But you can see, so this is my main activity, it's just got a list view, you can't really see anything in here. But that's just super simple, match parent, and I've called it shapes list view. Um, for my cell, uh, I've just gone and made the background grey. I've given a height of 120 dp, and you've got your text view and your image view, which you can kind of see, that's what it's going to look like there. And then the detail is pretty basic, just put the image view in the middle and put a text view at the top. So the next thing I'm going to do is set up our adapter class. And remember our adapter class is basically taking what's in our cell and making it work. Um, so to do that, I'm just going to say um, shape adapter extends array adapter of type shape. And then it's going to give me some errors because I don't have the right methods implemented. Um, I don't have a constructor so I'm going to say public shape adapter and I'm going to pass in context. I'm going to pass in int resource and I'm going to pass in my list of shapes. So I can even just call this shapes. Actually you know what let's call that shape list for clarity's sake. And just going to alt enter on there to import context. 
and then I'm just going to say super context resource and shapes shell shape list cool and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit generate our override method and I'm going to say get view and I don't actually think we need this nullable stuff so I'm going to get rid of it just to make it a bit cleaner and then I'm going to just tidy this up a little bit cool and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do shape uh, shape is equal to get item at position and then I'm going to say if convert view is null let's initialize it and to do that I'm going to say convert view is equal to layer inflator from and then I'm going to give it context I'm just going to say get context and then I'm going to say inflate and then this is where I pass in my layout that I created. So in my case, I shape cell. And then I give it parent and false. Cool. And then, so this is basically the whole view. Um, it's just initialized now. And then we remember on our shape cell we had an image view and a text view. So let's get those sorted now. Cool. And so then I just do dot set text to shape oh, shape dot get name and image view is equal to set image resource and I'm going to say shape dot get image. And then finally, I'm actually just going to return the convert view. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go to my main activity and I'm just going to lay this out as basically we have three main goals. We want to set up our data. We want to set up the list. And we want to set up our on click listener to so set up. Okay, so for our data, I'm just going to make a quick list. Um, so I'm just going to say public and static array list of type shape. That class we created earlier, I'm going to call this uh, shape list. And that's a new array list type shape. So I'll just quickly show how you populate um, the list. So I'm just going to say shape circle is equal to new shape. And I'm going to give that ID of zero. I'm going to call it circle. So I'm giving that a string. And then this part here, I'm going to give it r dot drawable dot circle. So that's going at res for folder drawable and circle circle.png but yeah that's how that's linking there and then I'm just going to say shape list dot add circle cool so you can see I've just copied that down that there you can see um, triangle's got the ID of one square two pretty straightforward stuff um, next I'm going to create my list view or at least make the reference to it so to do that I just go private list view and we'll just call this list view and then down in here I'm going to say list view of type list view cool and then next thing I want to do is make a reference to my our shape adapter that we created earlier so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just say shape adapter uh, adapter is equal to new shape adapter and we need to pass it context yeah, we need to pass it 
zero, and we're going to pass it in our shape list. And then finally, we just say um, list view dot set adapter adapter. Cool. And if we run this now, we should actually have a populated list. So let's give that a go. Um, so now that the emulator is loaded, you can see that we've got a list there. We've got five items, um, all corresponding to what we've put in here. And they've got the images there. So you've got a circle, triangle, square, rectangle, and octagon. So next thing we want to do is get it working so that when we click on one of these items, um, it takes us to the new activity and we can sort of get more detail on, on each item in the list. But we could, we could keep adding things to that list or, and it would scroll up and down. But as of right now, that's that's what it is. Cool. So next, we're going to set up our on clip listener. Um, to do that, I'm just going to say list view set on item clip listener, and then I'm going to say new adapter view on item, and then just auto complete all that stuff in there. All right. So to get the shape that we've selected. What we're going to do is we're going to say shape selected shape and then we're going to cast so shape and then we're going to say shape actually we're going to say list view and then I'm going to say get item at position and I'm going to give it this position here which is actually this I. So I'm actually going to call this position. Next, what we're going to do is create our intent to go to our next activity. So I'm just going to say intent um, show detail is equal to new intent and then I'm going to give it um, context so I'm just going to say get context and then I'm going to give it the class where we're going to so we're going to what do we call our we call it detail activity dot class and then alt enter on that in order to pass which shape, um, we need to use the put extra. So what we're going to do is we're going to say show detail, put extra, and I'm going to call this ID, and I'm going to say uh, selected shape dot get ID, and then I'm just going to start that activity and pass that intent to our show detail. Cool. So our detail activity um, is actually pretty simple to do. We really only have two goals here. We want to get our selected shape and we want to set the values. So in order to get our selected shape, um, I'm just going to say intent and I'm going to say I'm going to call this previous intent. And then just get intent. And then I'm going to say string past string ID is equal to previous intent um, get string extra. And we call that ID. So this can really be called whatever you like, but just make sure, yeah, so this ID here is correlating to this ID here. And then next what we're going to do is say selected shape, which I need to create first. So I'm just going to say shape, selected shape, then back down here selected shape is equal to shape list, that main activity. shape list 
and then I'm going to say get for integer value of past string ID. Cool. And then finally, we're just going to set those that image view and um, text view like we did on our shape adapter. So I'm even just going to go and copy paste what we've done here and make that selected shape. And we don't need this. And in theory, this should all work. Cool, so there you have it. Um, we've got a pretty basic list view. You can see I've added a few more um, shapes in there just because I wanted to show you guys that this does scroll. There's nothing more you have to do there. And yeah, if I click on um, our triangle here, you see we go to that triangle. And if we go on Octagon, we go in there. So yeah. Cool, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if any of you have actually used a list view in any of your apps, uh, send me a link. I'd be pretty keen to check them out. Um, otherwise, hope you enjoyed the video.